Welcome to another episode of Small Business Financial Frustrations. Today we're going to look at a little bit of an operational issue. Often in business, when we start to build something of value, we rely on the skill sets of certain people in our business to grow it. And what we end up with a lot of the time is our business with one person who gets bigger and bigger and bigger until that person is basically filling up the whole business. Sometimes that's us. And that kind of simplifies things a little bit when it's us, except for the fact that we end up working more and more and more. And there's a little bit of an inability to scale that way, but sometimes it's somebody else. So somebody, sometimes it's not actually us who is the key person in that business. Sometimes it's somebody else. So what happens to the business if that person is no longer there. And there might be a number of reasons that that person is no longer there. Number one is um, they might be dead. They might die. They might disappear. Number two, they might get sick. They might get disabled. Or number four, they might just quit. They think they're no longer happy. There's better opportunities elsewhere. These are the different reasons that that person may disappear. Uh, possibly other reasons, but I think those would be the main ones. So when you're looking at your business, again, that's something that we want to plan for. Okay, we've got this one person. They're extremely important for the business. I don't have control over what happens in their life because it's not me. So how am I going to manage these situations? What if that person dies? What if that person gets sick? What if that person gets disabled? Or what if that person decides to quit? And there's a lot of tools that we can use to manage the financial impact of each of those eventualities. Um, and better look after our employees. So this person who's so important to our business maybe is going to be a happier person in our business also. Just to blow up his face a little bit. He was here, not a lot of expression. Now he's super happy, right? Because we've managed to look after him or her in each of these areas. What, what if they're not too happy with the way the business is going? What have we done? What have we put in place to make them a little more content with where they are or excited about where they are? What have we done to make sure that they're okay if they become disabled, if they become sick, or that their family's okay if they die? So, and of course, our business in, in all of this too. It's got two different goals. Number one, save the business. Number two, and these are interchangeable, of course, look after employee. And especially that employee, which is a key person in our business. So if you want to find out more about these strategies, you can contact me. Uh, we're going to be going into some case studies later on. So um, you can also find out as we progress with this series. We'll talk to you tomorrow.